In 1990, Detroit area businessman Ted Stahl purchased a 1930 Ford Model A Roadster Deluxe and got to work restoring it for exhibition. That's where his obsession with classic cars began. Over time, the collection grew, and in 2006, he founded the Stahl's Automotive Collection in St. Clair Shores. As the collection outgrew that facility, it moved to a 38,000-square-foot building in Chesterfield, Michigan in 2011. Today, the Stahl's Automotive Collection is comprised of approximately 200 cars, with about 100 on display at any given moment. Among the incredible collection are several cars that have appeared on the silver screen. Not only is this 1948 Tucker one of the 47 surviving originals, known as number 1015, but it also appeared in the 1988 film Tucker, the Man in His Dream, starring Jeff Bridges. Uh, we have a 1948 Tucker. It was one of the cars that was filmed or uh, used in the filming of the movie. Um, we didn't own it at the time. It was owned by... Um, the Protzman brothers, they were down in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Okay. And um, we do have a signed, um, autographed picture from Jeff Bridges that is actually signed to Tommy Protzman. Also on display is the Winton Flyer from the 1969 film The Reaver, starring Steve McQueen. The car was created by Von Dutch, especially for the film, to look like a typical 1904 car. After filming was complete, McQueen took ownership of the car, and it remained in his collection until his death in 1980. In 2021, the museum brought the car to the inaugural Woodward Dream Show event at the M1 Concourse in Pontiac. That was a uh, lesser-known Steve McQueen movie. When we tell people we have a Steve McQueen car, right away they think we have Bullet. And no, we have the Reavers car, which um, if you watch the movie, it's a little risque, but it's, it's a fun movie. And um, from what we've read on it, uh, Steve McQueen fell in love with the car. Um, he, and, he assisted Von Dutch in building this car. And um, he felt that the car was actually the star of the movie, and it's the only one that was built for the movie. And he purchased it after the filming was done and kept it in his collection until he passed. Another period film, 1965's The Great Race, starred Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon as rivals competing in a car race from New York to Paris. Curtis drove the beautiful Leslie Special, while Lemmon, as Professor Fate, drove the sinister Hannibal 8. They actually built four of the Hannibal and five of the Great Leslie. Um, some of them were filmed or were created with more of an electric engine so that when they filmed indoors, they didn't have to worry about exhaust. Um, and the Leslie, they built five of those. One of them was tinted a little green to be used in the part where they filmed on an iceberg because it was all white and they needed the car to stand out a little bit. So we actually have two of each of these cars. They used it for a... Um, an anniversary event where they had it on display. They had both cars on display for this, the, when they re-showed the film, and Tony Curtis was there, and it had been after Natalie Wood had already passed, and he signed the car, and he signed it with his name and Natalie's name. The most recent addition to the collection is also arguably the most famous car in the collection. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang arrived in June, coming from the Desert Collection at the Orlando Auto Museum in Florida. The car is one of six that were built for the 1968 movie starring Dick Van Dyke. The Chitty that we have here was part of the Deezer collection in Florida. Um, from what we know, it is the car that was used in the filming of the parts where Chitty was driving herself. Um, so it was not the main driving car in the movie, but it was used in part of the filming. And we're still learning. It's only been here a week, so we're still learning the behind the scenes of it. And you said that the people that come in and see this car in person, describe their reaction. Some are actually moved to tears. They are just, um, again, I think it brought such memories back for them. And again, we've heard many people say this sparked the love of cars for them as a child. Um, it was the first movie they can remember where the car was the main star and the main character of the film. And again, it just amazed them so much as a child that that started their love of cars and we've had people say that they're coming here the minute they walk in they're like where's chitty <laughs> they want to see Ch and they will stand here in awe and just stare the stalls automotive collection is open to the public on tuesdays from 1 p.m to 4 p.m and the first saturday of each month from 11 a.m to 4 p.m there is no admission fee but donations are welcome 
For more information about upcoming events, you can call 586-749-1078 or visit stallsauto.com. In Chesterfield, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.